Hey, it's Ken Gaddy at the YouTube channel game is continuing my Let's Play of Life is Strange, Episode 1, Awake, Before the Storm. I really need my dreams to stop ending like that. Whew. Oh, that is not somewhere you need to go back, Chloe Price. Oh, you just don't know how to get there, do you? Damn, this game is pulling all the emotional punches, and it's not even waiting that long. This is only episode one of three. Maybe compared to the original game's five, it just feels the need to move faster? I don't know. Now let's not play chicken with the train again, shall we? That's the way you came from. Is that the way home? You're not going home, are you? Chloe is having a really rough night. And so am I, to be honest. This game is putting me through the ringer. Looks like Rachel didn't get far. I fell asleep and I still caught up to her. But this is the vista from the opening credit sequence. You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The oh, ones God. who were making out? That was my dad. Oh, all right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh, crap. Oh, the worst part is... I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I, thought I could catch him or something. Seems like you did. I don't want to interrupt. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. Oh, I know that feeling. When my dad died... I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but... I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10, and it started raining, and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. Ouch. I remember screaming like I was going to die. What was that right on your my hand? Dad, he carried me down the mountain. For three miles. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... That's what dads do. Oh, sorry. He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him. Completely. Here. And that's why this hurts so much. 
Chloe, I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. Ah. And I treated you like shit. I never knew if I'm making the right decision or not. I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. (laughs) I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. Well, you saw I kind of had to, and otherwise it would have been a short game. The who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a bottle to the face. Only because you showed up at the last minute, and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. That you see everything, sweet, don't you? Actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I didn't jump out of that train, though. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, of course. I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom hell is empty, skip my grounding friend. and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with. I'm so sorry, Rachel. Fuck him. What I would give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Oh. Are you serious? There's it's like the end of Gone Home. Me oh, here. spoiler. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. And do what for money? Okay. Steal? Don't I get a choice in that? The game didn't ask what I want to do. Now there's nothing written on your hand. Can I borrow your lighter? Oh. Thank you. Some NPCs just want to see the world burn. Oh, guess you're not a little girl anymore. And you ain't your daddy's. <sighs> Farewell to childhood. All our families are dumpster fires, aren't they? Come on. Um, bad idea. I played Firewatch, I know how this ends. Oh, the lone oak. Wow. Uh, Maybe it'll stay just with that one tree? If we're lucky? I also think I'm perhaps being a bit too literal right now. Okay. And now, what's Frank been up to all this time? Is he going to get caught in that fire? What is going on here? Why are we here? Oh my god, that's a huge fire. Is 
Do, are you ever not wearing your diner outfit? Oh, wow. Wow! That is not a single tree. Remember, I tried to help you, Nathan. And yet you're going to go on to be the death of me, won't you? What? The police? Why are they involved? And who's that? Oh, that's Rachel's dad, the DA. And is that his mistress? The other woman? Are we supposed to know or care who she is? She seems pretty pleased as punch. Well, that is the end of episode one, Awake! in this prequel to the original Life is Strange. It's been a roller coaster of emotions already, and there's still two-thirds of the game to go, as well as a bonus episode featuring Max, which I will be Let's Playing here. It's available exclusively in the Deluxe Edition, which is an extra $8 over the season pass of Episodes 1 through 3. Wow. So this game is not very puzzle-based, but neither was the original, really. I did miss a lot of things that I could have tagged, as opposed to taking photos as Max. Maybe I'll go back and find those on my own time. But, wow, this game is moving fast. And it's very much about young teenage lady love, which is what we were all hoping the original Life is Strange was about. I think many of us suspected it, if not hoped for it. And we certainly had the option to flirt with that. But this game is just going all in. It is not very subtle. It really lets you just go there. And uh, I'm not underwhelmed by the performance of Chloe Price, which is a uh, double negative, which is to mean to say it's not Ashley Birch, but I like her. This is a good Chloe. I like Chloe. And I like everybody else. I'm still trying to get a handle on Rachel Amber. Uh, she really didn't make sense to me until that last scene. Oh, hey. I don't suppose my name is in there because this wasn't a Kickstarter, but I certainly would have given them money. And they really can't thank everybody who let's play the original because, well, I'm just one person of many who did that. Hey! And she did consult on the character of Chloe Price, Miss Ashley Birch, so I'm glad to see her name in there. Her touch is definitely on the script, which is great. Whew. I don't remember how long it is until the next episode, but you can count on me to be there. Rihanna DeVries. That's the name I was trying to think of in my second video in this series. My apologies that I didn't remember your name. Whew. Amazing that this is published by the same company that makes Final Fantasy. Not developed, that's Don't Nod, but definitely published. I mean, that is so different from the games I grew up playing. They've diversified their portfolio. Not surprising, really. Didn't they also buy Eidos, who makes Tomb Raider? I've lost track. Huh. I bet Tobias has a cool job. Community for Life is Strange. So much fan art to work with. I subscribed to the Life is Strange subreddit. And uh, I just posted a photo there the other day of my Polaroid camera which I found the day before this game came out, in a stroke of good timing. And the community there was really receptive. They actually encouraged me to get the camera up and working and take some photos and post them back to the subreddit, which I confess never would have occurred to me. When I find an old Polaroid camera, you would think the first thing would be, oh, I should take a photo with this. But actually, my first thought was, I should put this on Craigslist and find a good home for it. It actually didn't occur to me that I am that home. Who knew? Uh, yeah, I, I, the original Life is Strange was one of the, my most memorable gaming experiences of 2015. In a way, it defined 2015 for me, because the game and its five episodes came out across the year. It started in the winter, when there w weren't many other games to play, and it ended in October. The final chapter came out in the week I had off between two jobs. I remember doing, like four things that week. I had a whole week off. I only remember four things I did. And playing this game is one of them. 
Putting up a shelf in my bathroom is another. <laughs> Not that those are equally important, but... Well, you live somewhere long enough and you start to make adjustments to accommodate your lifestyle and you see that little things make a big difference. That's a huge tangent that you don't care about. Life is strange, everybody. For the Storm, episode one, Awake. Uh, episode two, I forget the name of it. Episode three is Hell is Empty, I believe, which I wouldn't be surprised is a quote from The Tempest. I confess I don't know my Shakespeare very well. <sighs> The most success I ever had with Shakespeare was comparing it to the Jack Benny movie, To Be or Not To Be. I wrote a paper comparing the two and actually got accepted to an undergraduate Shakespeare conference. Uh, my high school English teacher would have been so surprised to discover that because I did not do well in her class. I guess I was just a late bloomer when it comes to the bard. Had the opportunity to see the Globe Theater in London. Did not take it. I just was not on my uh, top list of things to do while in London. Wow, even the web designers get mentioned? And web developers? That's pretty cool. You make a website, you get your name in the credits of a video game. Awesome. So where do you think this game is going from here? There is no huge mystery to solve, unlike in the original Life is Strange, where you're trying to figure out why can I change time and what is this nightmare about a giant storm? There's no imminent threat in this game, except maybe that's fire? If it spreads, that would be a weird plot point. But I wonder if Rachel and Chloe can help each other through these difficult times. I mean, they're both having a really hard time dealing with losing their dads in very different ways. And there are times when I think that Chloe won't be able to make it back from this pit dark deep abyss she's falling into. Can Rachel help her up when Rachel is falling herself? Orders water, seek its own level. Is that what they mean? By... By, I don't know. I was going to say opposites attract, but are they opposites in this case? I mean, she, Rachel, is like all-star beauty queen, and Zoe, Chloe, I keep making that mix-up, I don't know why, in my head at least, is not. She's not popular. She's a troublemaker. So they are opposites in that respect, but emotionally they seem to be in very similar places. So maybe they are just what they need for each other. And where is Max in all this? What would Max's role have been had she not gone away when Chloe needed her the most? And what... Are, do you really hate cameras and photos and pictures, Chloe? Or you just taking out your resentment about Max's abandonment because of this. I don't know. It's so hard, though, to lose your best friend and your father so close to each other. And why didn't Max say or do something? Just reach out. That's what friends do when you lose a parent. You remember the people who were there for you. And those memories are seared into your head forever. You don't forget the people who showed up. Just showing up. Being there. Even if you don't know what to say or do. The fact that you took the time to be there is never forgotten. The, the unity between friends who help each other. I mean, it's, it's what friends are for. I don't know, I just feel the mood and the spirit of the game are really being killed by all this legalese. I mean, I love MIT as much as the next person. Great place, but not what I expect when I'm playing Life is Strange before the storm. How do I get to be a place, Chester? I guess that's a full-time job, isn't it? I just want somebody like to send me an early beta of a game and say, hey, let me know what you think. I used to do that. I was a beta tester for a version of Wolfenstein 3D. Where did that career go? Hmm. Well, hey, you're welcome. And you can count on me to come back for episode two, previewed here. Wow. Okay, so most this is how my options, my choices aligned with other people who played the game. Most people attacked like me, 
Most people were kind to Joyce like me. Most people defended Nathan like me. And most people told Rachel that we were more than just friends like me. Those are the four main decisions, the biggest choices in the game. Friend stats. Uh, no, none of my friends have played this game yet. No, one of my friends has, and they've only made it halfway through. I think that's what that means. I wonder who my friend is. Uh, next, it says. These are all the small decisions. Wow, barely more than half of the people took the money, like me. Uh, I am in the minority of people who purchased pot. I read Joyce's self-help book. Does, did that matter? I don't remember that being a big thing. I put the photo on the dresser like most people. I didn't... S Wait. Oh, I could have stolen the money from the night before and not use it on pot and then put it in Joyce's purse? Dang. If I'd known that was an option, I totally would have done that. All right, most people play D&D, &D, which is awesome. Uh, let's see. I, I like the demo, like most people. I finished the D&D &D game, like most people. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I, I messed up. Elliot, I told most people... Most people told Elliot they'd go to the play. Got it. I had the opportunity to sabotage Victoria's homework? I don't even remember that being an option, but it says I didn't do it. Weird. I must have missed something on the grounds. Huh. Weird. You told Rachel you believe in love. Okay. And I'm in the minority there. I shared earbuds. Who wouldn't do that, really? And I didn't jump out of the train. Oh, hugely in the minority. What difference does that make, I wonder? And okay. Somebody else is playing the game and they've only made it halfway through. And the only decision they made was that they didn't buy pot and I did. And they didn't take the money. Well, that's why they didn't buy the pot. So they're not going to slip it in Joyce's purse either. Okay. So I would definitely jump from the train and give the money to Joyce if I had to do it again. <gasps> Shit. No one steals from me. I want my fucking money. Oops. Oops. That's going to come back to bite me. I wonder what the teaser is if I didn't steal the money. All right. So now I have the opportunity to play collector mode. And you have the opportunity to stay tuned to YouTube channel and game. It's for more Life is Strange as soon as episode two comes out.